Lankawi was on full show today as all classes lined up for the Round the Islands course. The stunning archipelago, with its idyllic coves and beaches, provided a magnificent backdrop for competitors who today were treated to a true taste of sailing in the tropics. The fleet was split in half, each racing a slightly different course around the archipelago. The Ocean Rover and Club classes came into their own today, as these more cruising style boats enjoyed the longer scenic course and the chance to stretch their legs. A downwind spinnaker start was set. As boats bared down on the line, it was a case of do we or don't we for some, and when to hoist for others, as a series of combined starts proved interesting all around. In the multi-holes, Fantasia got a flyer and left the rest of the fleet standing off the start line. She continued over the horizon to take line honours and first place. Andaman Cabriolet Nina, however, enjoyed the stronger winds and lumpy seas to put in a good performance today and secure second. In IRC2, a tough battle is underway at the top between Phoenix and Scandia Endeavour of Whitby. Today, Scandia Endeavour of Whitby took the win on corrected time, leaving her on top going into the last two days of racing. The closely matched sport boats found it hard going in the strong winds and lumpy seas today, but as the winds died later on, they started to find their rhythm. A three-way battle on the water saw Singapore Management University win and secure a one-point lead over the Malaysian Armed Forces team in the series. It's been a fantastic regatta so far. Langkawi has always been a place uh, of great sailing. Like the, the sailing's great, the offshore, off-water activities are always well organised and it's fun. Good conditions, uh, friendly competitors, so all in all it's a fantastic. We are currently leading the sports boat class by a single point, so competition's pretty tough uh, with the Navy team. So it's been back and forth so far, um, but it should set up two more fantastic days of racing. So far the races have been good, first and second, so right now we're in first place. But competition's very tough and it's tough but fun. IRC Racing and IRC One were a combined start today, and while some took a more conservative approach, choosing to hoist a spinnaker 100 metres down the track, others went for it on the start gun. The tables have turned in IRC One, with Jing Jing putting in another good performance today to take the win and move to the top of the standings. On corrected time, Matahari came second and Katsu third, despite taking line on us. In IRC Racing, from the start, Jellic 2 headed to the left side of the course, while rivals Hooligan and Team Hi-Fi took the right. Hooligan and Hi-Fi rounded the first mark close together, while Jellic 2 was off over the horizon. Hooligan got into her groove and, despite damage to the grinder, put in a stunning performance to take a first today, finishing less than five minutes behind Jellic 2 on the water. Skippered by Marcus Blackmore, this is Team Hooligan's first regatta in Asia. Well, I think this is a fantastic setting for a uh, for regatta. You know, the, the, the people are gracious, uh, we've been welcomed with open arms, uh, and I just encourage anybody to participate in this regatta, it's fantastic. Well, I think uh, at this stage, regatta racing in Asia, to me, is better better attended uh, than what it is in Australia at the moment. My crew, uh, uh, I have a number of professionals on board. Uh, the, most of the crew are guys out of uh, Royal Prince Alfred Yacht Club in Sydney. We all live uh, on the northern beaches and then I supplement that with others. I've got three uh, Kiwis from Auckland. You got a champion crew will always beat a team of champions and I've got a champion crew. Racing continues tomorrow off Royal Langkawi Yacht Club.